so what we will do here i will take this router to router and we need the serial here we need to add the serial interface point to point you know how to configure just try to make habit of putting question mark everywhere when you are doing any configuration so what you will have if any configuration we miss we can get by putting question mark only so here i need to add one here so i need to check which one is a serial here this one is having i think serial or no let me check another one here this is not serial this is not serial this is fiber 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 this is serial so i can put here and power on same thing i need to go here and power off and check here where is serial this is serial i can power on now go here you have serial cable or you can take automatic also like this and then automatically it connected to serial port here 1 by 0 and 1 by 0 and here you can configure like uh, use the same subnet as we are using 192.168.12.0/24 and this side you can use loopback 1.1.1.1/8 and this side you can configure another 1 2.2.2/8 and we can do the configuration configuration is simple i can go here go to the cli i will do the configuration here i will write no and then enable config t host name r1 then interface se1/0 then i will assign the ip ip address 192.168.12.1 give space to 55.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here an interface you have loopback 0 i will assign the ip address whatever ip you are using 1.1.1 give space write this one and you can enable the ospf interface method you can use router ospf 1 then interface se1/0 ip ospf 1 area area you can write a also area 0 then interface loopback 0 ip ospf 1 area 0 so here we enable the ospf save the configuration and go here and here <coughs> you can write no enable config t host name sw r2 this is r2 and then interface se 1/0 ip address 192.168.12.2 give space 255.255.255.0 right here no shut and then interface loopback 0 ip address what we have here loopback 0 ip address you have 2.2.2.2 give space 255.255.255.0 and right here no shut and you can enable the ospf router ospf one interface f0 by 0 not 0 by 0 you have serial se1/0 ip ospf 1 area 0 then interface loopback 0 and press up arrow and press enter okay we done here now you can go here and wait for some time and then you can write show ip root you will get the root in the routing table this is a root you are getting in the routing table and this is a id value 110 cos you can see 65 because we are using serial this is a next stop from uh, this much time the root is up and this is the outgoing interface or leaving interface and if you want to check you can write show ip osp of neighbor you can see here i did not configure point to point but you can see drbdr is not form here because when you use the serial cable automatically it will be point to point only and now i can write show ip osp of database you can see you don't have the router lsa means uh, like network lsa this information uh, you have one more router lsa like before before we configure point to point you have one more here let me check if this one this one is a network lsa this information so when you have point to point you will not have that information and also you can write show int show ip ospf interface serial 
1 slash 0 and you can see here I did not configure point to point but you are getting here point to point and this is the cause and timer is remain same but you don't have DRBDR here and also if you write show IP OSPF neighbor you see here you have dash you don't have DRBDR so you can say point to point is best solution compared to the broadcast if you know later maybe you will add some more router you will have the branches you are connecting then keep multicast uh, broadcast else configure point to point